What's up, what's up everybody? Oh, it's almost the end of the month. I know a lot of people are gonna get their light and dark scrolls, their lady darky scrolls. Uh, some of you might pull some good stuff. Most of you will pull nat threes. It's light dark scrolls, we already know, they're rigged. It's rigged, it's rigged. Uh, we already know it's rigged and you're gonna pull nat threes anyway. So let's take a look at some of them. Today we're gonna take a look at the Helia, the dark harpy. Where is she, where is she, boom. Uh, well, we already, we're already on her. Anyway, uh, low base, she attack monster, right? Low base, uh, HP, not too crazy. Uh, her base speed is not bad. Let's check out her skills. Uh, defense break first skill. Okay, we got 10, 10, 10, 20 for harmful effect rate. Nice, 50%, and then, uh, very nice for reliable, consistent defense. I mean, as much as reliable, consistent defense break as you really can get, right? Uh, Fox Hunt attacks the enemy with two consecutive attacks. Stuns when you get a critical hit. Okay. Uh, stuns when you get a critical hit. But really, I'm not too excited about this, but I'll explain why. I mean, it's a stun, whatever. Uh, sing single target stun, though. It is reusable in two turns, though. But, uh, Sign of Death, this is the one I'm excited about. I'm excited about that, that first skill defense break, too, though. But dealing uh, damage, decreasing enemy's defense, and applying a branding effect for two turns. So defense break and brand in the same skill. That is not a that is not a skill you see often. You see like he's got uh, he's got the defense break here. He's got the brands here. But this is an attack monster. Uh, Yolo squishy attacker, right? Uh, attack monster, easy to skill up because you get uh, skills for her from scenario, and she's got double defense break skills. And she's got a brand. Defense break and brand reusable in three turns in the same skill. So this is kind of unique in that uh, there's not a lot of monsters that actually have defense break and brand in this in, in their kit together. Uh, Alright, so I have her on rage focus, speed crit damage attack. Uh, and then we have this is not a great rune here. Uh, she's she's not on my best runes, but she's on okay enough runes, right? Uh, this rune's not- I mean, I wish we had attack. Can we- can we enchant this to attack somehow? <gasps> we can enchant this to attack- Oh! Suck a D! I mean... <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, let's do that then. Let's do that. Beautiful! Making her even better. Bam! Now she's even- she's even stronger than before. Oh! We didn't get- We could roll it again. We could see if we get something more. 15! Oh! Come on! Come on! One more! One more time! One more time! One more time! This is gonna be 15! Okay, good. <sighs> Alright, so- Oh! God damn snowy Christmas songs! Why do we need- why do we need Christmas songs? Okay, so now her attack is even better. Nice! She's got 15% extra attack. Not bad. Uh, so now we're gonna even be able to see her better. Okay, so where can we use her? Where can we- and she's got the 35% uh, attack power uh, leader skill for dark monsters. So where can we use her? I really don't see her for- she's too squishy for arena defense, right? She's a single target monster, so she's not really there for arena offense. I don't like to bring her, uh, too squishy for guild wars in my opinion. I mean, you could YOLO with her maybe if you really like to YOLO. Uh, but I just, there's way too many better monsters for Guild War, uh, offense or defense. Uh, she's gonna die super fast in defense, right? And then she's gonna be not too exciting for, for offense, like she's gonna die super fast and then, you know, GG. I really don't see her as being useful for there. Trial of Ascension, she doesn't have any AoE skills, she doesn't have any crowd control, she doesn't have any team buffing skills, whatever. Uh, Farmer, eh, she's a single target monster, she's not gonna farm that fast. Okay, wait! Good job telling her, telling us where she's not good. What can she be good for? I think she's mostly good for giants and dragons and these new rift beasts. All right, not the not the R5, but these these uh like the light beast, especially the light beast. She's got a great. Uh, I think I might have actually used her. Yeah, I actually used her leader skill for my best time on uh, on the light beast. I, I don't think these monsters even have runes on them, but this was my best uh, triple S for uh, No fight runes though, no fight runes for uh, for light beast. I used her in that not for Some of these other ones But let's see. Let's take her into dragons. Let's take her into dragons 
Alright, we're gonna actually take her instead of Galleon. I think she's a good compliment to Galleon, but we're gonna see if we can do it without Galleon. Alright. She's got a defense pick, she's got a brand. Uh, the cool thing about the brand, which not too many people really think of, is that the brand will... Uh, also, she, she has high speed for a reason, I'll get to that too. The brand is gonna make you do extra damage with ignored defense. So if you have a Lucian and the monster's got brand on it, it's gonna do more damage. If you have uh, Kali, if you have any sniper that ignores defense, that monster's it's it's gonna do more deep. Uh, it's gonna do more damage if it's got a brand on it, since it already ignores defense. It doesn't make, can we please get some defense breaks? Oh my god! Oh my god! We're not even getting defense breaks. I was talking about how awesome this girl is, and now we're not, we're not defense. But okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, no galleon though. No Galleon. Can we do it? We should be able to. Uh, but she needs speed because she's got the debuffs. That's why she needs to go uh, more on the faster side. Alright. Oh, resistance! Why? why? Well, we don't have super high uh, accuracy on him, but... This is... Okay, we need... Well, I mean, of course, he's not going to get stunned anyway, right? But we're kind of getting a little bit bad RNG. We finally got a defense break on him. That really doesn't show- that really doesn't show it, though. That really doesn't show what she's capable of, if she just dies. Yeah, that's kind of crappy RNG. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, so we beat it, but that's crappy RNG, we gotta try it again. Or maybe put some more accuracy on her, she's only got 20% accuracy. So we did beat it in a minute 26, but we need to do a little bit better, we need to show a little bit more of her- She just got resisted! So next we gotta work on more- can we get more accuracy on her? It would be nice to have more accuracy though. I will give it- I will give it that. It would be nice to have more accuracy on her. Um... What was I saying? I was saying something else. But yeah, I think she's a good- she's not a substitute for Galleon really. I know we're substituting her for Galleon. She really isn't a substitute. She's like kind of a compliment to Galleon. Because, of course, he's gonna get resisted sometimes too, so it's just more reliable defense break. So I would take her in probably instead of Yaku here. This way we have all the uh, all the other necessary stuff, but when you get to the dragon, if Galleon fails uh, on the defense break, you still have her. She's got her first skill, she's got her third skill that's gonna defense break, so we have more reliable after that as well. And then we'll test out her damage, uh, we'll put attack on slot 2, and we'll see if we can do decent damage for her there. Alright, too bad we didn't have the brand while he did that. Or attack buff. Or attack buff. Okay, we got the brand now, so everyone's gonna do more damage. Beautiful. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. 58 cents under a minute with no galleon. Under a minute with no galleon. Okay. Can we try it again? Will it succeed again? Watch me try this and, uh, you know what? Actually, instead of this, let's try her with galleon. Let's try her with galleon. Because we saw she could do it, right? I was- I was looking for, uh, more of the lines of her not getting resisted. So, let's do with Galleon. Now, let's see what kind of time we can expect with Galleon. With the attack buffs, with the defense breaks. More defense breaks as well. Alright. But, she is a- she is- she does have two debuffs. She's got the defense break on first and third, and she's got the brand, which means I think she actually does need to go fairly fast. You don't want her to be- like, she does good- these, you know, she's a squishy damage dealer. Uh, so she's gonna do good damage. But you do want her to go before the other damage dealers. She should really be going before these Tarks, too. Because the Tarks gonna do a bunch of damage. So she should be applying that defense break and that brand before the Tark goes to be optimal, for the optimal turn order. So this is kind of wrong, I'm showing you guys something wrong. So if you're like, Jumego, you're doing that wrong, she should be going before Tarks. I agree with you, she should be going before the Tarks. Actually, I wonder if we could have made her faster. I wonder if we could have made her faster. The Tarks have high base speed though. Oh, oh no, that, that was the stun, that was the stun, that was the stun, of course, of course. All right, let's get some, no brands, okay. Oh, but that guy, he's gonna get that immunity up! Don't get the immunity up! No immunity! Alright. What was this? <laughs> we did better without Galleon! Damn, we did better without Galleon, okay. Wasn't the most crazy optimal uh, speedruns. Let's try it with... Um, 
And this is not like for this is not for like beginner uh, speed runs. This is for like not beginner speed. Beginner really doesn't wouldn't be doing speed runs anyway. Uh, but this is not like let me build her. Oh no, she's failing. I don't have my towers max. This is like after you do that. A lot of mid game players are f slacking on the towers. I don't know why you're slacking on the towers, man. You gotta work out. You gotta farm arena. You gotta you, you gotta get those towers. Um, that's that's another story in itself. Let's take him out. He's hard to get. He uh, she would be replacing in this lineup. She would be replacing basically what I'm using. Um, where is she? Where is she? Oh, she would be replacing what I'm using Sophia for because right now Sophia's got that extra defense break too. So she would be replacing that. And Sophia, I think, has uh, good speed, too. So, I mean, basically... Uh, actually, not not great speed. Okay. Attack rate damage attack. Uh, but she'd be doing that. Let's do... Let's do a different... A chicken of a different kind. Okay. More... More... Easily attainable... Version of the first team I was doing. What do you have for runes? You still have runes. Okay, good. Good, because I know not everyone has Tashar, not everyone has uh, Sophia built and skilled up. A lot of people are like, I don't have the Nat Fives to keep doing those. To, I mean, not to keep doing those, to make to make a Sophia and keep skilling her up. That's what I meant. Keep doing those? No, keep skilling her up. That's what I meant. But that brand is gonna, even though even though uh, ignore defense, you know, it doesn't matter if they have a defense break on them. The brand is gonna do more. Uh, ignore defense with a brand will actually do more damage. But I think the defense break and the brand are very important. Those are the biggest uh, debuffs for Rift Beasts. And you want to YOLO. You want to do that just big damage YOLO for those Rift Beasts. So. So she works there. Not a bad, not a bad, uh, not a bad time. 44 seconds, not bad. Do it again. Do it again for consistency. And then we'll try her in the Rift Beasts. And then I'll show you guys the uh, how much damage she can do if she's on attack with damage attack. If she's got if she's attack with damage attack with speed subs, that would be optimal, right? If she can get speed subs to move uh, after Galleon would be would be the best option. Like for this, Galleon should move first. Uh, she should move second, and then the damage dealers after that. So. For the, for, for maximum damage anyway, for maximum damage. But if your Lucians are gonna clear... If your Lucians are gonna, it would actually be the, fir the first waves would be faster if the Lucians moved next though. <gasps> she did, oh no. This way she doesn't use her animations, and the Lucians can just, hopefully, just clear waves by themselves. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying! Alright, but Sigmar should probably move last. Alright, what else do we have? Oh, we'll use her in, uh, we'll use her in the Rift of Worlds. Now, she's like, I know you're like, oh, the Dark Beast, she doesn't have a lot of multi-hit skills. Some people might be confusing her with, uh... What other monster? What other monster that's uh, that's good for the Dark Rift Beast? This one, she's got the multi-hits, right? She's got the multi-hit uh, defense break here, and then she's got this, and this. She's got the first two, uh, same first two as Culling, but she's got the multi-hit, uh, she's good for the the Dark Rift Beast. But this, um, this one. Oh my god, I forgot her name already! <laughs> this, this one. Not Kabila! What is her name? Helia, right? Helia, okay. I didn't forget her name. Mm, I think it's been a while since I did this. Are these monsters still these monsters are still ruined up? Not you though. Not you. Okay, what are we gonna take? What are we gonna take? What are we gonna take? Do we have any other big single target damage dealers? Yes, we do have that. We could try Brandia. The nice thing about those other ones. Ooh, we could try Brandia, we could try. Siege, I think, doesn't have runes currently. I have to put runes back on him, that's why he's out. So he needs, uh... 
You know what we could do? Hmm. We could try this girl. I can't, I can't make it free to play in the team I use. I can't make it free to play anyway. So, I mean, I could, I could do it free to play. We could try, we could try a more free to play friendly team. But the Dark Ninja, okay. Let's take out the Dark Ninja. We can take out the Dark Ninja. But I don't have, I don't have the, um, the Dark Units that I want for, like, she doesn't have runes. I could use Carl, but he doesn't have, he doesn't have runes. So she's not gonna do, she's not gonna show the best. So I either have to, I, have to, I either have to do non-free-to-play team and try to do big damage, or I have to do free-to-play team and not do very good damage. So let's do this, and let's try, let's try, let's try at least the homunculus, right, instead of Brandia. Homunculus, homunculus should be fine. At least we have three dark monsters. All right. But I was farming the Dark Rift Beast when uh, I put my good like for. I don't remember. I put my good my good runes on them for a little bit, and then I farmed the Light Rift Beast, and then I took the runes off of them and put them on different stuff. I think the Dark uh, the Dark Ninja still has runes, right? I'm pretty positive he has runes. Pretty positive he has runes. All right. Can we not listen to whatever this is making my vagina soft? Okay. Defense break. And we need some brands. Good! We got the brand. Nice. Let's just try to do some decent damage. No fight runes, though. Fight runes is, uh... Important to get the maximum amount of damage from these, uh, these Rift Beasts. So pretty decent. 1.7 million so far. I know some people- some of you guys are like, 1.7 is what I get the entire time! But I think she's really good for the Light Rift Beast. Especially with that leader skill, if you're running a dark team. Like a dark team with, uh, big single- like, big burst damage. Like, single hit burst damage. Oh, come on, Chasun. I hope we don't, like, die on this. I think we should be fine. Oh! We need the defense breaks on the brands, please, 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 please. I'm just worried if they start dying before we can, uh, we can beat them. It's been a while since I did this light beast, though, and I know he hits hard. I know this boy hits hard. No, no, kill everyone! Oh, he killed everyone anyway. Okay. Yeah, he can hit hard. This boy. This boy. But this is where these, uh... These runes, like the... The whatever runes. Oh, no! Don't kill everyone! Literally just gonna die. Literally just gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, we we were not we're not gonna die anyway, but we were close. The dark team though, the dark team is gonna do more damage. It's element advantage anyway, so the dark team is actually a better team to run anyway. But but I took a lot of runes off them, so we did we we still got triple S. We still got triple S. Okay, let's put uh, let's put another rune on her. Let's see if we can get a lot of burst damage on her to see how much damage she does, to see her damage potential. So we're just gonna still use, we're gonna still use this. It's not bad damage potential, right? It's not it's not bad damage output for here, but let's see if we can. Let's go. Let's see if we can get some crit damage. Crit damage here. Rage, attack. Okay, so we get more crit damage, we get more attack power, but we get less speed. We're gonna apply this. And I gotta remember this, because my Lucian is now naked. Alright, so let's take him into... This is like, I don't know why this is my favorite place to take things into. But, let's take him into here. And attack power leader skill. What is this 
music I know. <laughs> I'm going back to my old playlist. F this. <laughs> okay, so we got attack power, uh, attack buff, defense break. First skill does 34k. Okay. Second skill. 25 and 25, that's 50k. And then this is doesn't matter, because we don't have attack buff defense. We had a defense break, but we didn't have the attack buff. Alright, attack buff defense break. Third skill. So what was it? 30 was it 34, 50, and then what is this? 68. 68k. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for a three star. But those are the places that I think she's used. She's not really for... She's not a PvP monster. She's not for World Arena or anything like that. She's just there for Light Rift Beast. Uh, and then she can also improve. I think she's a good co like a good addition to Galleon to get that extra... Galleon derps so much because of accuracy versus resistance that it's nice to have that extra defense break. Double skills that defense break. More reliable speed runs. So... Because, I mean, a lot of times if you lose that defense break, if you don't have that defense break there... Uh, the, t the team is like, okay, we can't do enough damage before the giant gets a turn and wipes us, or the dragon gets a turn and the immunity cast is cast, and then he starts, he gets like below 30%, like you get enough damage to get him below 30%, and then he starts doing big damage on top of that, and your team's got a bunch of dots and just wipes. So, I think it's, it's nice to have more reliable defense breaks, so secondary defense breaker that also does big damage for Giants B10, for Dragons B10. But again, guys, this is for this is not for early game. This is more for late game, for speed runs, to have that reliable secondary defense break plus burst damage. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you pull her, I know, I know you're gonna pull her tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow, right? They get the light dark scrolls. Or I'm late and everyone already pulled them. And if you got a nat five, light dark nat five, post, post what you got. You know what, whatever you got, Whatever you get, come back to this video, no, come back. Yeah, if you're watching this video and you're already summoned your light dark scroll, post what you got. Um, LCU as always, or light dark scroll from the event. I'm just curious to see. I just want to see and I want to get salty. I want to read all the comments be like, F this guy, F this guy, F this girl, F this guy. All y'all nat fives, nat fours, you got a frigate, F you especially, I ban you from my channel. Just kidding. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you as always in the next one.